Hi everybody and welcome back to a video. Um, it's been a really long time since I've filmed a painting video or any kind of video at all, but it's been a crazy year. So, excuse me, I'm gonna get, or no, excuse me, like whatever. For today's piece, I thought I would film a three-parter um, painting for a friend of mine who had actually, not like commissioned this, um, but had given me these canvases for free and I was like, oh, I'll just make you a painting. There are three canvases, the two other two are right here, but I just want to start off with one and see how it goes because I do tend to um, do a, a multiple layers um, when I've messed up. So this is the reference. Oh, here we go. All right, so I've had, I have all my paints and my paintbrush and things, palettes and all that stuff uh, laid out on this table right here. Um, but because it's not a tutorial, I figured I would just start going at it and like, you would just paint with me. So that's what we're going to do. Um, when, as I start painting, like maybe I can do partly of a tutorial, but like when it comes to flowers and florals and things like that, I don't really know how to teach it. We'll see how it goes. <laughs> this right here, this is Tiger. You say hello. You say hello. You say hello, baby girl. And sometimes she gets in my paint. It's not ideal. No. Yeah, I know. No. Yeah. Okay. So the brush that I'm using right now is this. That is probably from the dollar store. Yeah, I know. It's definitely from the dollar store. So I'm just going to roughly start doing the shape on the flowers. The front that I'm doing this commission for is like really, it has a very specific color palette for um, her life, it seems like. <laughs> for business mostly, but for her life too. So it's cool that I, I know that so I can do what she likes. Don't jump, don't jump. Don't jump. Forgot to mention that this canvas is primed from beforehand, like and it has a multiple amount of layers, which is why the paint is going on very smoothly. Wait, you didn't even comment on the studio. Beautiful. You didn't even comment on the studio, I just ripped apart the whole house. You didn't even say anything. Camera. My camera's not even facing you. So are you gonna paint me? I'm not gonna paint you. Oh. I have painted you digitally. Yeah. So you're gonna edit all this out? Yeah. <laughs> Probably. I just realized this is perfect for spring. I haven't done a spring painting yet. I've been meaning to do it um, digitally for my Etsy shop, but this is like the perfect um, like painting thing to do. And plus, it's for somebody that I love a lot. So it's, I love that spring is here and I love my friends and I love painting. So it's just a lot of love, a lot of love in this video. I think what I'm going to do now is just start on the ingredients. I need to wait till this dries before I can add on more. But what I'll do before that, I'll, I'll just take. I'll just show you the cups up. So here's where we're at right now. I really love this this one.
Sometimes it really, like, I really don't like where the painting is headed, but then it just takes, um, like, a little, a little get up and look at it from far kind of moment, or just, like, get up and just don't look at it at all kind of situation, where, like, you have to step away from your painting, um, to see if you really don't like it or if your brain is just tricking you and also like if you have like you can see where you need to work on things when you step away from the problem and look at it from another perspective so that's what i just did because i was like oh no i messed up again um but i think what i need to do is just let it dry and then add layers and that'll make me feel a lot better So this is what it looks like right now. This little corner is really bothering me. Um, try to dif try to do a different technique, but it's just still not working. Oh, they've got some nice drips here. Here's the mess. Hello, everybody. Um, this is the second day in the studio working on this. So originally I had said that I'm missing my rings. Originally I had said that I would be doing three of these, um, like a set of three paintings, um, for a friend of mine. Then we talked and it turns out she only wants two. So I will only be needing to do one more, which will make this video a bit shorter. Uh, yeah, so this is what it looks like when it's all dry. There are a few things I need to fix, um, but other than that, I think it's ready to go, and then we can work on the next one. Let's get to do that now. So I've just finished this one. This is what it looks like. Um, I haven't done florals in like ages, so it's really... I don't know, like, it's hard to be happy with it so I keep fussing with it but for now I'm just gonna put it on the side and 
work on this nice one. <laughs> Sometimes you just gotta keep moving on. should do four or five because the other painting has five flowers and this one just has four but I'm liking the composition so I might just leave it hello hello I'm back and this painting is completely dry because it's actually been a few hours so now I'm gonna continue working um, and now we're gonna add the foliage, leaves and things. So, let's do that. <laughs> oh, I was like, where are my brushes? They're not here. God. Oh, I forgot. Um, I had put out gold paint last night um, so that I could add some to both the paintings. But because I'm already working on this one, I think I'll just wait to add those to both later. But telling, saying this out loud would probably help me remember to do that. So, just wanted to throw that out there. Pretty, pretty. You're pretty. So how's life? So I think for now I've done the foliage because right now they look quite different. Okay, I'm not too far off. It's not going to be the worst thing. There's definitely some work to be done. That's fine. I can do it. That's fine. I can do it. It's fine. I can do it. Imagine if I painted with sunglasses on. <laughs> I think it would be a super light painting because it looks so dark with sunglasses, but I think it'd be an interesting thing to do. It's 4.20 p.m. But it's March, not April. And anyway, what would I do with that? <laughs> so much better than the other one already and I think it's because I just didn't know how to paint yesterday and I was so nervous about the camera and I was just so nervous about everything um, that it just came out like a practice piece but I'm still gonna <laughs> still gonna give it because I worked on it so hard <laughs>
So I realized here that all the flowers were looking the same and compared to this little painting, it was just not matching up. So as you can see, I made this one a little bit darker in saturation and then um, I'm working on this one right now. So I just have some shades of purple mixed up and just gonna work on that right now so that there's a little bit of um, variation in the flowers and that way it kind of lines up more with the style of this one where like all of them are different so that it's more cohesive Sometimes it's like really risky to, you know, change so much of your painting after you've worked so hard on it already, but it's worth it if it looks better because then you're saving time, you know, fixing it later. As with anything in life, I think. Here we are right now. I think that I'm close to done. Um, Probably just gotta add some more white to this. Just kind of like this one where there's more texture. Um, so it looks a little bit more impressionistic, just like the little guy over here. Um, once I've added the white, I just gotta add the gold and I think that should be it. So just gonna wait for this to dry and then take it from there. So I'm just waiting for these to dry. To dry. And this is what they currently look like. Except the sun is probably not showing the accurate accuracy. But yeah, here we are. This is our current situation. I will be doing adjustments. So yeah, I just wanted to show you a side by side while they're drawing. Cool. It's a few days after um, I last shot the last shot of me painting, but um, as you can see, it, it's all done now. So I just wanted to give an outro to this video to just let you know that yes, I completed it. I did add the gold detailing, which you'll sh which you would have seen or will see in the little close-up shots that I filmed. So yeah, I just wanted to give an outro and say thank you for watching. Thank you for following along and hopefully I'll be painting 
a lot more florals this spring because I'm finally back into it and it feels pretty good. I hope that you guys are all well and um, take care. Bye.